Over the weekend, police military operations implementing Executive Order No. 66 to end the local communist armed conflict is believed to have broken the backbone of the underground movement in Western and Central Visayas with the arrest of 40 ranking CPP, NPA, NDAF personalities and the rescue of 14 newly recruited CPP, NPA child warriors in a series of operations to serve four search warrants issued by the Honorable Ceciline Villavert, Executive Judge of RTC Branch 89 of Quezon City in Barangay 33, Barangay Bata, and Barangay Takuling, all in Bacolod City. Subsequent search yielded a total of 32 assorted firearms, three hand grenades, two 40mm grenade launcher, assorted live ammunition, subversive documents, and paraphernalia. The arrested persons are undergoing documentation and investigation, while the rescued child warriors will be placed under the care of DSWD. Sir, regarding po doon sa arrests sa mga uh, allegedly CPP and PA members, sir, uh, ang allegation sila, of course, is this is a crackdown on legitimate uh, organizations. At the same time, uh, may, uh, oh yes, planted yung mga ebidensya, sir. For instance, may isang Facebook Live na nagpapakita, sir, na may nakuhang bag doon sa damuhan, uh, tapos may nakuhang caliber 38 na pistol, sir. Your response to that, sir? Limit legitimacy is is a status which they can prove during the trial, if ever this will be pursued in the courts. Planting of evidence, stolen items are the usual allegations when we conduct search warrants. That's why the law provides na dapat may kasama kayong media, may kasama kayong local government units who will witness the service of the search warrant to avert all of these allegations. Okay. But let them prove themselves in court if they say that these are planted. Siguro naman, kung ma-prove nila sa court, then necessarily the cases will be dismissed. Otherwise, they cannot allege that kung talagang may sasampa ito sa korte. What will happen is the confiscated evidences will be returned to the courts. No? Kasi i-return mo yung search warrant, so i-return mo rin doon yung, ibibigay mo din yung mga evidence confiscated. And from then on, we will build up the case to file against them. Basically for illegal possession of firearms and explosives. Sir, follow up lang, sir. Uh, given this situation, sir, you said na parang this is like uh, destroying the backbone or uh, in Central, Luzon, uh, Central Visayas, among others, sir. So, nakikita na natin, sir, or na-establish natin fully yung interconnection of the, these uh, organizations with the CPP and PA, given that, uh, of course, yung mga uh, ni-raid po natin ay mga offices ng mga uh, activist organizations, sir. We're starting off with a legal basis muna ng service of the search warrant. Nung sagutin nila yung mga illegal possession nila ng firearms and explosives. Later on, we're starting to build up cases to prove to them that they are supporting the CPP NPA. Kaya ito nagkaganito sa Republika eh. Because some of the other non-government organization na kunwari humanitarian sila, but they're doing otherwise, no? Now they're starting to feel and to get hurt on the campaign of government to end the local communist terrorists. And they will continue to do so unless they stop.